two things you need to know about the yips even if you've never had them before. Stop affirming yourself and telling yourself you're a great player, you can do this. Those kinds of thoughts do not help the yips. People with good intentions will say, just be positive, but this is the last thing that someone needs to hear if they have the yips. Number one, think of the yips in terms of a line or a spectrum. With poor thought processes, you can move further down the line of the yips. But if you start correcting these harmful thought processes, you could start moving this way. Overall, you can move up or down on this line. Number two, the best way to move to the good side of the line is some form of exposure therapy. So this means instead of telling yourself, oh, everything's okay, I'm just gonna make this next play, I'm gonna do it. You have to first go to the root cause, which is your fear. Your brain is meant to protect you. Your brain has to be exposed to the very thing that it's afraid of over and over and over again until it realizes this is not a real threat. Then you'll move along to the right side of the line. The yips are usually caused by someone trying to prove themselves with a new team or prove to their coaches that they're able to play. But you can't play for other people